Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Night Zero. It's your homie Cody GT and in today's video my boys I am bringing you a brand new game onto the channel Night Zero. Now this is a relatively new game and I have been having a tremendous amount of fun playing this game. Now if you've been to my channel if you've been here for a while you know I am known for Honkai Impact 3. Um, and this game is vastly different, but kind of similar in certain ways, and that is why I think I enjoy it so much. So, in today's video, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, show some uh, gameplay, uh, some combat, as well as do a summon. So, I do hope you enjoy the video. I hope you like what you see today. If you do, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel, you enjoy the content today, go ahead and consider subscribing and join the family. Now, with that being said, like I mentioned, it's a relatively new game. I have been playing it for a little bit, so I, as you can see, I'm only level 7, but my boys, I thought I would bring it to the channel because, like I mentioned, I have been enjoying the game, and it is different, and the combat is different than Honkai Impact 3, um, but like I mentioned, it has some similarities, and I think that's what intrigues me. Um, and then speaking about combat, the reason why I like it so much is because it makes you think. It, it, uh... It takes some time to go ahead and actually do the combat, and I think that's why I enjoy it. So, uh, let me stop rambling on. Let's go ahead and jump into combat. So, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the story mode, and um, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this next one that I have to do, and we'll go ahead and show off um, some combat. We'll take a look at the characters as well, and then we'll finish off the video with some summons. So, I'm going to skip the story um, just because I don't want to keep you guys here too long. Now, the combat is very very interesting so we have it's a i guess you could call it a strategy turn-based style and that's not usually my type of game but this one is a bit different if you have played brown dust or um played a game similar to brown dust this will be uh very familiar to you and this will be something that you're used to but if you haven't played that game this will be slightly different which i have not played brown dust so um this is my first introduction to this type of game um, but what's so intriguing about this game in the, the gameplay and combat is that you have different characters being able to do different things. So you have your characters, you deploy them on the field, and then you set up a formation, almost like a chess um, kind of a match. Now, each character, like I mentioned, can do different things. So let's take this Valkyrie, for example. You can see that it has an arrow, a green arrow, and it's kind of pointing down that is what we call a sneak character and a sneak character is able to go into the enemy's back line um, depending on what character they have in front now you have what's called sneak blockers like this guy right here he can block sneak uh, uh, characters because he has the down arrow with the with the wall in front of it so that means he can block my character from going to that back line as you can see block sneak so um, I cannot go ahead and sneak into his back line, but as you can see here, this character has a up arrow with a line, which means she can block jumpers. So my sneak char character can go right by her and go right to that back line. Now you have another character like this one right here who has an up green arrow. That means that she is a jumper. She can jump to the back line, but you have jump blockers who can block her from jumping to the back line so um, it's very very integral to go ahead and make sure that you have the right characters in the right spot um, you know their skills and you know how they operate so that's why this uh, combat and gameplay is very intriguing to me and, I, and that's why I've been enjoying it so much so um, let me go ahead and set up my characters here and you do have an order and everything like that and uh, as I do more videos on this game which I will um, I will go more into detail about combat and the Val uh, Valkyries, <laughs> which actually these characters, some of them are Valkyries, uh, funny enough, um, but I'll go more into detail about these characters as I bring the video, um, more videos to the channel. So let's go ahead. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this up here, set this up here. Um, very nice. I like that. And... Um, I'm actually going to go over here because we can go into jump into that back line. Let me see what they're doing here. All right, very nice. I kind of like this setup. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Let me actually apply my order, which I'll go more into detail about that in another video. And let's go ahead and jump into the combat. So 
Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to bring more videos to the channel. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, and I hope you enjoy the game. And you should try it out yourself if you're um, slightly interested. Uh, you should definitely give it a try. It is fantastic. So as you can see, this is the combat. So like I mentioned, it is turn-based. Um, characters do have what I guess you can call ultimates. And you can go ahead and get them off. So I'm going to go ahead and get this character's ultimate off. And then, um, okay, so he's going. All right, not bad. We're, we're taking the hits. Now, this character right here can do some good damage, my boys. Um, but that guy has a shield on, but we still knocked him out. So that's good. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and go, okay, take it easy. I'm going to go ahead and go here. Now, this character right here crits like a maniac. Look at the crit. <laughs> um, but they got a shield. Okay, that's okay. Pretty much. Okay, there we go. They're dead. And then we're going to go here. Um, very nice. We're looking good. We're looking spot on right now. Okay. All right. She's doing a lot of damage. Let's take it easy. All right. And let's go ahead here with the ultimate. Very nice. And we're probably just going to finish it off with some normal hits. Yeah, I, I don't... There we go. There we go. Very nice. So that is combat in a nutshell. There's a, more intricacies to it. Um, I could, you know, like I mentioned in other videos, I won't go more into detail about um, the characters and what they're capable of. And um, different... There's I And I know there's a lot more strategy to it. Like I mentioned, I've just started playing the game recently. I, I just got to level 8, which is very nice. Very nice. But um, there's more, you know, strategy behind it, and uh, I'm still learning the game for myself. So keep that in mind. Um, so here are some of the characters that I have currently right now. Very awesome thing about this game is the reroll is really, really nice. So if you do a summon and you don't like what you got, you can reroll like multiple times to get the character that you do want. Um, but I managed to go ahead and land. This was my first SSR. Um, and I stuck with her one because I thought she just looked awesome <laughs> the scythe and everything uh, just I, I love the aesthetics of this character and she turned out to be really good now how good I'm not too sure I don't know like the exact um, power scaling in this game or meta or anything like that um, but she seems pretty cool and then this was my second SSR that I was able to pull and I stuck with her because I thought she looked really awesome with the wings and the sword and she ended up being really good because she crits like a maniac um, and then we have this character here, Chimera. Uh, she's been fantastic. This is my SR. Um, and then we have other characters like Sukuyomi. And that's another reason why I like this game so much is the characters as well are just very unique and very different. I love the names of them. Um, and they're all based off of like devils and gods and, and mythology and different lore and culture and religions. It's really really cool so um let me see am i able to look at multiple characters except you know outside of the ones that i just have i don't think i can <laughs> I, well maybe let me see am i am i oh no i don't want to increase the inventory just yet no i think i can only just see what i have uh which is fine let's go ahead and look at some more so we have like lilith here um, she looks fantastic. She's awesome. A good uh, tank. Well, I don't know if it's, she's a good tank, but she's a good tank on my team. Um, and then we have Poseidon, um, obviously from Greek mythology with the trident and everything. So that's that's really cool. And then we have, um, let's see here. Who else do we have? Aphrodite, obviously from Greek mythology as well. Um, so really, really cool characters, very unique, uh, very nice designs on them. I just really enjoy the game. I enjoy the game, my boys. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's end the video on some summons. But before we do, um, we have other events that I don't have unlocked yet. So we have the event story, which opens in a day. We do have missions, which obviously I have not unlocked. And then we have arena where you can do a bit of PVP, which is awesome as well. I'll go ahead and show that in another video. Um, so it just there's, there's a few things that you can do and like I mentioned this game is relatively new so you uh, content will be rolling out and uh, more stuff will be available um, now we're gonna go ahead and end the video on a summon I have enough to do a multi and we do have this banner um, with the Susano which is really really awesome um, you can go ahead there's a rate up for this character right here which he looks awesome I really do want to try and obtain him and then you have your like normal banner, which has 
basically everything in it. You could think of it, you know, harkening back or harkening back, <laughs> harkening back to Honkai Impact 3 uh, would be like your standard supply. So um, we'll go here and we'll do a multi summon and hopefully we can pull Susano. That would be nice. What else is in here actually? Um, let me see. So the 1% for the Susano, which is nice. Um, you actually have a lot of other, you know, Lucifer would be nice. Um, Zeus would be really cool or Thor like that's all Odin Shiva like these characters are awesome um, I you know an SSR in general I would love to just pull an SSR in general so um, let's go ahead let's do the multi summon and let's see what we can get cost a 900 of those crystals all right anything all right so we got an R and you'll know if you get an SR or an SSR because it'll tell you to tap on the screen to go ahead and get them Undyne, I don't think I had him, so that's pretty cool. All right, and the next one, Lakshmi. Okay, I, I believe I have her already. Um, so nothing yet. Are we gonna get shafted, Kali? I have Kali already. All right, are we getting the shaft? Oh no. Okay, so strong ore is flowing out through the gate. Let's go, SSR. Okay, Chimera again. Uh, okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Can we get another one? We're probably not going to get another one, <laughs> which is a shame. Uh, I really want another SSR on the team. Okay, another Lakshmi. Can we get an another another one? No. Okay. Uh, yes, I do have that individual. Can we get another one? No. Okay. Zephyros. All right. Is this the last one? I believe that might have been the last one. Pele? I don't think I have Pele. All right. So we did get an SR. Unfortunately, it was one that I already had. So that, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I will probably try another multi-summon when I get enough crystals to go ahead and try and to obtain Susano maybe one more time. Uh, but that is a night zero, my boys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like what you saw today like I mentioned give it a try this game like I mentioned the gameplay is not normally my style my style is normally that hack and slash you know Honkai Impact 3 style but this one is enjoyable this one is actually fun because it makes you think you have to put a little more thought into it instead of just a you know natural turn base so I'm gonna get out of here I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed the content and with that being said, remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.